Hi! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your beautiful Fast Friday Afternoon Devo. Your days of your daily bread passage for today. Episode 851, Part 2. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the story is it over from Sheridan Voidsey, derived from Matthew 6, 9 through 13. So if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. Because liking the, liking the videos helps the video out, reaches more people. So please like the video to help my video reach more people. That's why I say smash the like button. It helps. I just, I've been hearing a lot saying, just by liking the video will help the video out. It'll help it get to other people, so. Oh, I'm not even saying it now, but please like. Uh, co comment your birthdays, anniversaries, and uh, prayer requests in the comment section below. And what's your favorite story? It could be a Bible story. It could be a uh, nursery a story you heard growing up. You name it. It could be any kind of story that you've heard over the growing up or heard in the Bible. It could be a Bible story. It could be a personal story. It could be some type of a story that you've experienced in your own life. Whatever. Let me know in the comments. But subscribe if you need to turn on notifications. Share the video channel with your family and friends and help me reach that 25 to 30, 30 subscriber mark. By October the 1st, and I will greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me get there. So, so, without further ado, let's talk about the story. Is it over? Sheridan Voidsey, he writes, When British drama, when British, the British drama Line of Duty concluded, record numbers watched to see how its fight against organized crime would end. But many viewers were left disappointed when the finale implied that evil will ultimately win. I wanted the bad guys brought to justice, one fan said. We needed that moral ending. Well, most of the time, in most stories, the good guy always wins. Because you see the uh, story of Star Wars. Jedi are the good guys, the Sith are the bad, the evil. And Jedi's always win. And what's it, Marvel? You got all the Marvel superheroes. They always win, no matter what the bad the the bad bad guys do. They always win out. Good always topples the bad the bad side. But evil always gets toppled by good good things. And 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 in the end, God. God wins over evil. God travails over evil in the end. That's, that's just the way everything goes. And in all stories, good always wins. You might have a part of a story, like say if you've got multiple, um, like you say you've got multiple parts of the story, Evil might win in this part, but good always travails at the end of the story. <laughs> so, 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 sociologist Peter Berger, B E R G E R, once noted that we hunger for hope and justice, hope that evil will one day be overcome and, and that those who caused it will be made to face their crimes. A world where bad guys win against how we know the world should work. Without possibly realizing it, those disappointed fans were expressing humanity's deep longing for the world to be right, made right again. So in the Lord's Prayer, which that's what we're talking about, Matthew 6, 6 9, 9-13, it exists only between us Requiring forgiveness in verse 12. But on a grand scale, requiring deliverance, verse 13. So this realism, however, is matched with hope. 
the place where evil doesn't exist. Heaven and that heavenly kingdom is coming to earth. Your kingdom come thy will be done on earth as is in, as it is in heaven. That's what verse 10 says. So one day God's justice will be complete. His moral ending will come and evil will be banished for good. Revelation 21 4. So when the real life bad guys win and disappointment sets in, let's remember this until God's will is done. On earth as it is in heaven. There is always hope because the story isn't over until God says it's over. Amen? So the, the Lord's Prayer goes, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses and forgive those who trespass against us. Do not do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> so what do you think? Why do you think we hunger for hope and justice? And how can praying the Lord's Prayer help you face evil and disappointment? Let me know some examples of that in the comments. But ponder those questions by saying this phrase, which should be on the bottom of the screen, so make sure your subtitles are on so you can see it. And if you don't see it, check the description. If it's not in the description, wait a couple hours and come back and then you can see it. But say, Heavenly Father, may your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So for further study, let's re read uh, Living Justly, Loving Mercy at discoveryseries.org slash Q0750. That link should have shown up on the screen. But if not, check the description box and you'll, you'll, you'll find the link in the description below. But your uh, Bible reading today... Well, we finished up Ecclesiastes yesterday. Didn't realize. But today we're going to be on the Psalm of Solomon, or Song of Songs, as they've got written. And we're going to read the first three chapters, one, two, and three. And then our other one is Galatians chapter two. So, so coming up tomorrow, in your 852 part two, for your jubilant Saturday, September the 24th, we're going to be talking about the learning about the power of a name from Amy Butcher Pye, P Y E, derived from Genesis 17, 1 through 8, and 15 through 16. Hmm. Got an itchy spot on my back. Ooh. But stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a, just a few minutes as soon as I get done with. Um, tonight's uh, turning point, and then um, tomorrow's morning video, and I'll get to that. So, but you'll you'll see that after. You'll see that one after at 5:45 tomorrow, since there's no turning point tomorrow on Saturdays. So, but with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God and he'll keep you safe and all you say and do in 2022 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long. Farewell. God bless everybody. Come back later after 7 for your um, turning point video for today. And episode 352. And we're going to be talking about Then Came Surrender. Beginning with Zechariah 4, verse 6, our recommended reading was going to be Luke 24, 44 through 53. Our um, turning point is from Samuel Chadwick. And the Bible reading, we're finishing up the book of Micah 5 through 7. So, stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that after 7. 
So with that said, I love you. With that said, God bless everyone. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye.